it's Beth from the Somerset County Library, and today we're going to be making zucchini bread. One of my favorite parts of the fall season is being able to harvest the garden, and having a great big zucchini come out of the garden is one of my favorite things. There's so many things you can do with it. You can have fried zucchini, zucchini boats, I've done zucchini fries, zoodles, but one of my favorites has to be zucchini bread. So let's get started. So I'm trying to be really good about not eating a lot of gluten. So I found a gluten-free zucchini recipe and that's what I'm gonna do today. So to start out, I have one and a half cups of gluten-free flour and to that I've added half a teaspoon of each kosher salt, baking soda, and baking powder and then a tablespoon of cinnamon. And I just stirred that around. And to that, I'm going to add half a cup of granulated sugar. And then I need to get some brown sugar. So I'm gonna do half a cup of packed brown sugar. says packed you need to make sure you pack it down into the cup and then add it to your bowl. You now I need to break this all up. Try to make sure I get all the clumps out of the brown sugar. This smells so good. It smells like fall. Okay, that looks pretty Radiance. good. Ingredients, and to that we need to add one and a half cups of our grated zucchini. And to grate this, all I did was stick it through the food processor using the grated or the shredding blade. There's one. And a half. And I actually have plenty more shredded zucchini here and what I'll do once I'm done with this I'm going to pack it up into individual packs and that way during the winter I can make zucchini bread anytime I want to from our fresh zucchini. And look at all that water that came off of it. I had this sitting for a little while so you can see all the water that came off of it so I think it's a good idea to shred it and then let it sit for a little while to get some of the excess moisture off. Now I'm also going to add some hickory nuts to my zucchini bread. Okay, so that's all of our, our dry ingredients. Now I'm going to put, mix together my wet ingredients. So in my blender, I am going to add, so 7 eighths isn't quite a full cup, but almost. So I have my zucchini. I have two eggs, so I need a quarter cup of oil, And then 
teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we are going to pulse this until well blended. And when I first learned how to make zucchini bread, this is what my grandmother did. She put everything into the blender and all the zucchini went into the blender and we just kept adding the ingredients and blending it all together. It wasn't until later that I actually started grating the zucchini so I would actually have pieces of zucchini in the bread. It still tasted good, it was awesome. All right, so with our dry ingredients, created a well in the middle of the dry ingredients, and we're going to pour the wet ingredients into that well. And then we're just going to stir. Get all the dry ingredients, all the dry ingredients worked in there. go grab my loaf pan. Okay, so I have a standard size loaf pan and I'm just going to grease this. Smooth it out. Okay, in the meantime, I've had my oven warming up. I'm going to set it to 325. And I'm going to pop my loaf into the oven and it's going to bake for at least 50 minutes. You want to bake it until. until um, the sides of the bread start pulling away from the pan. And if you set, insert a toothpick into the middle, it'll come out clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven and we'll be back in a while. Our zucchini bread has come out of the oven and I don't know if you can see, but you can see that the bread has pulled away from the edges. It's a nice golden brown. And let's do the toothpick test. Okay, it's pretty clean. Nothing on there. So the instructions say to let it sit in the pan for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, we'll take it out of the pan, let it finish cooling on a cooling rack, and our bread should be ready. So gluten-free cooking can be a little, especially baking, can be a little bit fidgety, so it's important to follow the instructions that are with this recipe. Otherwise, your bread could collapse, or which I've had happen. So, I'm gonna give it a try. 
And there are different varieties of zucchini bread that I've tried. There's a chocolate, a double chocolate zucchini bread that I've done that was gluten-free. And that includes cocoa powder and chocolate chips. So that's really good. Uh, there's one that I've made that includes pineapple. You take crushed pineapple and you drain the juice off and add that to your zucchini mix. I haven't tried that with the gluten-free bread yet. I'm interested in trying that because, like I said, gluten-free cooking or baking can be a little fidgety. So I might have to play around with that a little bit and see if I can get it to come out just right. And so do some experimenting, find a recipe that you like, and enjoy. We'll see you next time.